Welcome back to John Boy and Jake TV. It's Friday, so we are going to watch a game show. We're watching the newlywed game again, as you saw. I'm hooked on it. I think it's great. We're going to the 80s, the late 80s for this one. They brought it back, so it's actually called the new newlywed game. I want to keep Fridays a rotating thing, though. I need you guys to suggest what to watch next week in the comments. Legends of the Hidden Temple, Guts, Supermarket Sweep, um, or submit another show. Someone make a comment. Someone make three comments with each of those, and then everyone upvote it, and we'll crowdsource it, see what we watch next week. If you put or recommend uh, a new show. I went to some new shows, Jake, and they, I was just like, ah, I just want to watch the Newlywed game, though. But there's not that many I out there. I get that. So we got to keep a rotating cast. Okay. Do you have it on your screen? Yep. Have it on my screen. All right, here we go. I was worried that Eubanks wasn't going to be the host because it's a rebrand. Right. Yes. Okay. We'll be competing to win on the new Newlywed Games. And now, here's the star of the new, new Newlywed, Newlywed Games. Fun. Yeah. And when they brought it back in the 2000s, they should have called it the newest Newlywed Game. Or newer. I want you to meet my couples because we have four delightful couples who are ready to bear their soul for a toaster or something like that. First of all, couple number one, when he knelt down at the altar, the whole church laughed at his shoes, which said on the bottom in big letters, help me, right? Married seven months, this is Pamela and J.P. McCann, couple number one. I don't think she enjoyed that joke. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem like a fond memory. Sight. They've only been married six months. Look at the smile on their face. Cindy and Nick Stanley are couple number two. Like when Nick Stanley's about to say that. Couple okay. number three. Now, they enjoy swimming and bowling and cooking together, and they're married only five months. That's why they like all that stuff together. This is Deidre and Elliot Jones, couple <laughs> number three. Elliot looks and young. Couple number four. A lot of jabs at marriage. He a real dive yeah. of a bar when he asked her to dance. He said, yeah. Actually, he picked her up in a bar, is what I'm really trying to say. They've been married one year and three months. Donna and Steve Friedman. There they are. Our really well couples. One year and three today. months. Yeah, you've met our couples. I like them. Good tall couple. Our couples are playing for, and let me tell you what it is. It's a beautiful new kitchen, and here it is. All right, a whole kitchen. I never got how this worked. Did we know the prize beforehand last time? I don't think so. They needed more sponsorship money, maybe? Feels like a Wheel of Fortune type. Oh, or not Wheel of Fortune. What's up? Price is right. Price is right. Yeah, it's going to be one of those weeks, folks. I can tell you that right now. Okay, we got a classic ditzy blonde joke. I want you to listen carefully to these questions because each one is worth five points. And each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that beautiful kitchen that Rebecca just showed you. So if you're ready, here we go with question number one. What are you looking at over here, Elliot? I was looking at you. You were looking at that girl back there, weren't you? Your wife left, you were looking at the model already. Damn. Ah. Elliot. Question number one. Here we go. Gentlemen, Spotless. will your wife say you think that she has more friends that are stupid, mean, or ugly? Ooh. More mm. friends that are stupid, mean, or ugly, Steve? Yes. Um... I'd have to say mean. She's got me. Girls aren't going to call their friends some, uh, ugly. Pretty outrageous friends. Some of her friends. Right. Oh, it's her, her friends. friends. I thought it was their They're friends. All stupid, Bob. Yeah, no. What would her? Oh, she say her friends are. Any of them ugly? They're all stupid. Yeah, ugly, mean. But most of them are stupid. Mean's the easiest mean. answer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> stupid, <laughs> mean, and ugly. You stupid, mean, and ugly. Stupid, right? Stupid is the most. Right? I got you. All right. What do you think, Nick? I guess he goes stupid definitely too. Mean. They're mean. Yeah, her supervisor gives her a hard time all the time. <laughs> okay. So. Well, they're think, definitely mean. I think they're stupid. She's gonna say mean, so mean. I'll say mean. <laughs> just want to make, just want to let right, you well, know that. Try our next question, gentlemen. I think they're stupid. Wife says the I could have got out of here easy, most but I won't. Most for saying all the time. Funniest thing, Elisa. She's most famous for saying all the time. She always says. Whoa, daddy. This is the way she says it. Whenever something happens, she goes, Whoa, daddy, whoa. It's <laughs> a good catchphrase. Yeah. yeah, but when does she say it? <laughs> Sex joke. Oh. It's her favorite saying. She says it all the time, and she always says, Honey bee. Honey bee. Yeah, so honey everybody bee. That we do. I bet you still like this guy? Say honey bee. Honey bee. So yeah. Simple. <laughs> she says this all the time. I give her no cause to. She says, You don't love me. <laughs> Does she whine like that when she says it? I don't know, yeah. man. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't about you that. don't that's love me? Like, she constantly this tells him that he doesn't love her. That's what she's saying all the time? And she hits me. 
So yeah, I mean, let's just go back to this guy. This guy. What did this tall bird just squeak oh, out? Hold on. This guy, though, that looks like the minister. You he don't put, love me. He put help me on his shoes at their wedding day. Yep. And then his wife is constantly telling him that she, he doesn't love her. So he seems very confident in his answers, which I like. Yeah. All right, next guy. Don't talk said that to you, like, just like the shoes. Steve, this is an easy one, but I know she's going to blow it. Every time she gets mad at me, she goes, Steven, and she hits me. So she says my name like that. She well, that's funny, all the time. Yeah. Here's the last well, of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, how will your wife say you would complete But he sentence? said she's not going to say now. this, so bad the guess. The difference between my wife and my last girlfriend is about blank inches on top and about blank pounds on the bottom. The difference between Jesus your Christ. wife and your last girlfriend, Nick, is how many inches on top? About 10 inches. <laughs> Ten inches on top. What? All right. I think he thinks the that they're doing height and not boobs. What? Okay, so he's asking how how much bigger was your ex girlfriend's boobs inches and on butt? Top. Boobs. What's the actual wording of the question? It's how many inches up top and how many pounds down low. Yes, are okay are different. Than the ex girlfriend, they're talking about boobs and butts, but I think he thinks yes. they're talking height because he said ten inches and like ten inch yeah. boobs. That's insane. That's those are traffic those are cones. Big boobs, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. She's lighter, so I have to say zero pounds. Zero pounds yeah. on the bottom. The difference, so there's no difference. There was no the difference. Okay, fine. I think, I think they had to height. phrase this <laughs> question differently for these guys. How I think we're going over top? across the board. Three inches on top. And how many pounds on the bottom? 25. 25. Yeah, we'll find out when she comes out here who's got all the weight. What do you think, Steve? How Dude, many this is inches a... on top? Uh, she doesn't like to brag about it, so I'm going to have to go low. I'm going to say three on top. Three okay. inches on top. How Even many pounds on the bottom? Um, 18. 18. All right. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, about five. She'll guess five, 18 five for sure. Five inches on top. How many pounds on the bottom? About 20. 20. 20. About 20. Yeah, right? Not giving a 5 or a 0. <laughs> 18. Gentlemen, we'll be no right chance. back to reunite our newlyweds. And we'll I mean, that whole round, round if anyone gets we'll anything right, 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 that question, right? I mean, I get that you have to be coy with some of this stuff and be flirty and sex jokes. Like, that one, you just say, like, bigger boobs, smaller bottom. And, like, figure it out. I don't know which way the girls are going to take it. Of course. It's the one couple with the most points at the end. It's going to be a disaster because nobody knows the question or the answer. Welcome back. And here's your first question for five points. Tell me, girls, does your husband think that you have more friends that are ugly, stupid, or mean? Do you have more friends, Pamela, that are ugly, stupid, or mean? Well, he phrased the question different because now he asked them, does your husband think? And then he asked the guys, what would your wives say? So the guys were trying to answer as if they were their wives, and now the wives are trying to answer as if they're the guys, and they're going to be two different answers. That's and set up for failure. Were, well, the guys were answering as their wives. I think it plays. I think it's a triple flip. Mean friends. Mean friends. He yeah. predicted that. <laughs> she, what, is it right? Yeah, that's what he got right. Wow. Yeah. She jumped. Oh, he scared the hell out of her. Yeah, and you get why you'd be scared living there. He's a little jumpy, isn't he? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's a little, wound a little tight. I was going to say, is he always wound that tight? <laughs> he came Cindy? this way. I would say... Stupid. Got stupid friends. Yes, he predicted. On a tangent. <laughs> he predicted that your friends are a card for me, please. You've got some mean friends. No what do you mean? What have you been complaining about all week about your supervisor? Oh, <laughs> friends? That's my boss. <laughs> 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 Hi, Deidre, how are you? What do you think he said? He's pretty really good. Ugly. He is. Yeah. It's not true, but he's gonna say ugly. Well, let's see what he said. He said you got friends that are so stupid. <laughs> so, but he was guessing well, actually, what she I thought, so they they messed this mind. up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just chose this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have no friends now. No, he, she doesn't have a job either, so it's all right. <laughs> it's tough because now she called her friends ugly. Um, I'd say mean, just because we have a couple that have stood us up and mean, a few right. other things. Steve predicted you have more friends that are definitely mean. You got it right, sure. I think I like him the most. Okay, here's our next question now. Tall for couple? Points, ladies, what's yeah. What's the funniest thing that you are most famous for saying all the time? These funniest next two questions are really hard. For saying all the time. We'll get a couple here. The last one. Make it here because this is lame. <laughs> oh, my God. 
She said, move over bacon. Here comes the sizzling. That's her catchphrase. That's her catchphrase, Jim. She says it all the time. <laughs> Imagine if she does. He's like, ah, shit. For saying all the time. The funniest thing, Cindy, you're most famous for saying all the time. <laughs> move over bacon. Here comes the sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> I like how much I mean, she liked it. She liked couldn't that. even get it out. Yeah. <laughs> when you got a good one in the I chamber. <laughs> Gosh, I wish he'd have said that, but he didn't. <laughs> he said, honey bee. <laughs> oh, he won't. Yeah, you're he right, did. you're right. That's <laughs> the best one. Deidre? He has to get this one right. I'm sure he will, hon. Every time when something happens, especially when it's something good, I always say, whoa, daddy, like that. <laughs> whoa, daddy. Yeah. Yeah. See? Even if like you always say, whoa, daddy. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good catchphrase. Yeah, it's really. She got to drop that later on the show. You ought to say, "Whoa, Daddy, oh, yeah. move over, bacon." Here comes the sizzling. Yeah. <laughs> you better not blow this one. You better not blow this one. You've been. Whoa. I said. I said breaking up the menagerie about four years ago instead of breaking up the monotony, and you oh. better have gotten this one right. Oh. Okay. That was yeah. right. No yeah. way. No, you say Steven. Steven. Oh, that's no way. She just did do it. That's pretty did. funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty that's funny. Always says that. And she just Dude, I mean, that's, that's, that's tough because it's not a catchphrase. Oh, yeah. It's just his name. I heard her yeah. yeah. She just that's died. literally yeah. your name. Very funny, right. I got. I got side. I side with both of them. Pamela, what do you say, huh? Um. That you're famous for saying funny. Well, JP is a pilot, and um, that's your husband, JP. Yes. Yeah, yeah, my okay. husband, JP, is a He's pilot. He's a pilot. Yes. When I get frustrated with him, I tell him I'm not an add-on flight because he's You're always... not an add-on flight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Can I see the card? Yeah. yeah. You don't love me. Only you whine when you say it. It's not true. Is he okay? okay. Always That's saying it. True. What's funny? Because it's not true. <laughs> I mean, they have a bad marriage. Here's the last of our five-point questions, ladies. How did you? I mean, to there's pilot things, 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 things out there. there. The yeah. My wife, don't treat me like an like, like an add-on flight. I'm guessing is something he hates when they add a flight onto his schedule and he has to work more. She's saying, yeah. I'm not an add-on flight. He thought the catchphrase was, you don't love me. That's a, that seems like nothing's going too Things well. Things aren't here. going well here. <laughs> and is about blank inches on okay, the bottom. Okay, here comes this humdinger. And blank pounds on the bottom. Boy, he didn't have any trouble with this question, Deidre. He got it, boom, just like that. He said, the difference between my wife and my last girlfriend is about blank inches on top. How many inches on top? About 63 inches on top. 63 inches yeah, on top? Yeah, he says that all the time. I <laughs> mean, what are we doing? Top, huh? Yeah. Oh, and about how many pounds on the bottom? About about forty pounds on the bottom. Forty pounds, all right. He but okay, but uh, Jake, what is his ex girlfriend huge or is she tiny? And she like, what's this question? I don't know. What are they? We don't, don't know what they're just all guessing random numbers. There's there's the innuendos far too loose. The innuendos way too loose. I don't. Should negative numbers be involved? Is it just distance from zero either way? So, like, if the X had bigger breasts, it would be three inches. But if the X had smaller breasts, it could also be three inches. She's not doing um, breast and butt size. This lady just 63. did. She just That's did the height of a human. She just did that. The other lady was his X was fat. Five foot three inches bigger in the chest. I don't think she's. I don't think she caught the chest innuendo. I think she's just saying that. I feel like they said, let's not get points this round. Let's just try to get mean about their exes. Yeah, and this makes no sense. don't know what they did. I don't get the, what's going on here. This is uh, five lenient. inches on top and 20 pounds on the bottom. <laughs> five inches? He always... Okay. That's why I have to be lenient at this time. No, you always talk to me. always reverses my chest size and say I wear a third. I tried to be lenient this time. Is. <laughs> so she was talking about her boots. Yeah, oh, I got it right. Yeah. 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 63, 63 inches. inches? Oh, okay. She always talks. Yeah, you know. Wait a minute. Her name is Donna. Every time I call her name, you talk, Steve. <laughs> oh, Bob coming Donna? for blood. Okay. Yeah. She was about the same height. Um, How many inches on top? I'd say three. So on she's top. doing height, not boobs. 40, 40, 45. <laughs> okay, he's so, so height and weight? It was uh, supposed to be height and weight. 3 inches and 18 pounds. Oh. But dude, 63 inches. Nope. I mean, you're never going to oh, find a way to come to grips with that. So I need you to How get, many get on top? Yeah, yeah. that out of here. Oh, but, 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 but hold on. But she, she clearly It'll never did, be right. She did height and waist, which would make sense. But they did pounds on the bottom, not inches again. She also said, pounds. oh, she was fat. 
So that's funny. But Weight difference. Yeah. I don't know, man. It makes no right. sense. Just don't, yeah, don't try to analyze Probably it. You're not going to like what you on find. The top and, and how many pounds on the bottom? Oh, I shoot real big. Big one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, heifer. Heifer. Uh, <laughs> honey. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't talking. mean you either. Yeah. She pounds. doesn't mean you. 20 pounds. 20, okay. How many mm. inches on top of you? We, didn't, we knew that, dude. All right, he said, uh, pardon me. No, he said three inches and 25 pounds. Oh, close. close. What do you think, Cindy? This is well, impossible. We this is brutal. Size, so I'll say about three inches on top and maybe 10 pounds on the bottom. Three inches and 10 pounds. He predicted you would say the difference between you is uh, 10 inches on top. Yeah. And zero pounds on the bottom. You are the same as me. Yeah, but who's the biggest on the top? Are we talking about the same person? <laughs> well, he said different. She was smaller. So. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Dude, that was, I mean, this show, question, I've been saying, every time, every time we do Newlywood Show, I say it's just a crossfires of no one's having the same conversation. That, that was the biggest example. No that one. Was now, ladies, your husband's are secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what it was impossible. Later, like, it should have just been be difference in height and weight. Tell me, girl, your ex -girlfriend the first time your husband made a real sexy pass at you, what will he say was the first thing you said? When he made a pass at you, Deidre, the first time, a sexy pass, what'd you say? Stop it. Stop it. All right. Yeah. Okay, Cindy, what'd you say, huh? Yes. You said yes. <laughs> I like her. She's having a good yeah. time. Pamela? That's what uh, I'm telling you. They're, no way. That couple. No way. Just, no way. Leave me alone. <laughs> right. Donna? Um, it'd have to be something like stay away or no way. Which one? Um... Uh, Both mean the same no way. Thing. Okay, next question, ladies. How will your husband say oh, you would complete this sentence? You talking. My husband has a lot of class. But when it comes to blank, unfortunately, it's all low class. Fill in the blank for me. He's got a lot of class, but when it Food. comes to blank, he's got low class. Cindy? Joke. Jokes. Yes, he's all always right. telling dirty jokes. Low <laughs> class <laughs> jokes. All right. Well, my answer is similar. He, I get on to him about his bathroom humor. He's funny in the bathroom. No, no, no. No. <laughs> he has just a real, like, real immature sort they're of humor. Just saying jokes. Oh, like her husband. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, I bet they're having fun in the soundproof room. Right? I bet they are. <laughs> Donna. Um, I'd say eating habits because he has the habit of eating real quickly sometimes. Comes to eating, unfortunately, it's all low class. Um, yeah, I think that's a good answer. Low class eating habits sometimes. Yeah, I got that part. Deidre. When it comes to acting silly. He's just comes acting uh, silly. It's low class acting yeah. silly. Right, I don't know if that adds up. Just, Ladies, just your low say, class. You have silly. Just mean he, he's, he's low weirder class. Weirder ears or weirder shoulders? What does he think you have, Donna? Lips, ears, or shoulders that are weird? I'd say ears. He's always thinking in front of them because they're uneven. One's longer than the other. All right, Deidre. Ears. Ears also. What do you think, Cindy? Shoulders. Shoulders and Pamela. <laughs> he's gonna say my ears. He doesn't. He doesn't like pierced ears, and I got. A couple holes on each side, and he just in? thinks that's just well because it affects my hearing. No, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll be back with the husband's that, experiences on the other That was kind of quick jokes from her. <laughs> It'll affect. That was, but like, why? Was... <laughs> I like that one. It'll affect my hearing. What? What? I want you to go to that. Now, let's see how long well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these are the big ones. These questions are worth 10 points. And here we go with our first one. Gentlemen, the first time you made a sexy pass at your wife, what was the first thing she said? I mean, this is the first time now, Nick, that you made a sexy pass at her. What's the first we'll thing get she one said? one out of four here. Uh, <laughs> when or where? <laughs> when or where? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. said, you're, 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 said yes. This is a beautiful yeah. couple. Yeah. Okay? They're giving him that. What? <laughs> Take it. That was a tough one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> AP, first time you made a sexy pass at your wife, what'd she say, pal? Change my socks. No, no, I mean, really. <laughs> she said, no way. She said, no way. No way. No way. She said, the first time she said, no way. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. This guy's uh, fast. Have, though, the, yeah, last, right. the last time you no. made a sexy pass, what did she say? Get lost. Yeah. <laughs> no, she Things said, haven't one, changed one much. Big huh? deal. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> what did well, she say? I'd have to say she said yes because she didn't say a whole lot. She just smiled. She looked like she's enjoying it. So. She said yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what she said? She said no way. I said get oh, away. God. She said get away from me. No Steve, kind of went way too weird on that one. <laughs>
She was fucking hammered. She didn't say shit. She just was smiling. Oh, wake up. As I entered her, she that, that, was that what you said, wake up? No. Oh, she was. Bob just made the wake up joke. Okay. Yeah. Elliot. Different times a little bit. Well, Bob, she uh, she was trying to she was trying to get me for a long time. I bet she was. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm she, sure uh, she said what, Elliot? She probably said uh, it's about time. Or it's yes. about time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Stop it, you fool!" Stop it. Yes. How can you say stop it? Because it's the pro- first. Time. First time. The first time. It was like yeah. in the morning. It was yeah. freezing cold outside. But we were inside. It didn't make a difference. It was cold outside. We were inside. It was cold inside too. You were cold. I was hot. <laughs> That's the case. Don't look at me. I'm Gentlemen, I like your that wife banter. complete this sentence. This is your wife talking now. My husband has a lot of class, but when it comes to blank, unfortunately, it's all low class. Fill in the blank. Cooking. Cooking. All right. She said, you got a lot of class, pal. Defeated. When it, when it Just comes totally to defeated. Acting silly, Very you're defeated. low class. I actually agree. I'm a great acting no, sillier. No, no. I'm a great acting <laughs> sillier. Yes, My you video, are. I'm, that's the whole point. I act silly on the video. Why? So I have great class acting in the no, videos. You know. What you video? Like he makes, oh, but, God, when he no, was in no. high school, he made these videos of himself. You believe this, right, Bob? Acting as, <laughs> acting as um, performers, you know, singers yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And he wore this, he, he did James Brown once. Is that right? And he wore a wig. <laughs> <laughs> and his face <baseball. laughs> Whoa. You don't believe her, see? Uh, no, I don't believe that. Turned into a holiday. You got your watch, your low class. I'd have to say eating. She always knocks my eating habits. Your so, eating habits, all right? It's a good one. When it comes yeah. to your eating habits, you're low class. Yeah. JP. <laughs> You know what we have here? The two guys on the end, they want to fucking win so bad. The bookends? Yeah, the bookends. The tall and then the Don't priest. throw the pilot into that bucket. The pilot's okay. just okay. My, an my insane naughty person. joke, my dirty joke. Your dirty joke. Yeah, he's a little. <laughs> I mean, dude, the reaction after every question, right? Nick? I I do it. I hurt myself. Ooh. I know when I don't have class and when I don't call and I'm late. Okay. She said that when it when it when it comes to your jokes, your dirty jokes, you, you have no class tell at Evie all. Yeah. Jokes. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. I like this lady. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, never mind. I was gonna tell her. Hey, we'll be right back now with our 25 point bonus question. See which couple's gonna win their grand prize. The first is my buddy. So Tony now they so they've changed up the rounds from the older episodes. American Flyer travel wears classically styled. Because now we're getting like a final round. It the 420 like. year nylon with they did this last time too. Because remember they have the bonus ball that basically again, wins the game. Like it makes the whole rest of the game irrelevant. 25 point bonus question to 25 points. But I thought it was like part of the woman's round. Weirder ears. Weirder shoulder uh, or weirder lips? Maybe. Let's go first to couple number three. You've got five. Twenty-five will give you thirty. Get it right. Yeah, this is way different. Place. What do you think, Elliot? No, no, ears. it's not. No, it's not. She says she got weird ears. Yeah. It's not different. Right. Yeah. Exactly the same. All right. I thought they already did. Couple number two. Nick and Cindy with ten twenty-five will give you thirty-five. Take over the lead with the correct answer. If you miss it, you go home in last place. What would it be, Nick? Weirder ears. Ears. You're going home in last oh, place. Yeah. <laughs> she said shoulders. All right. Oh Couple number four with 15, 25 gives you 40. Shoulders. Steve, does she have weirder ears, shoulders, or lips? Definitely have to say ears. Ears. She said definitely would be her ears. I'll say definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Right, so Uneven. The so they're in the lead. Oh, if this guy wins, he's going to have a conniption. Yeah, now I'm kind of rooting for it. Weirder ears. Ears. <laughs> Dude, I, he he he's like the dad that hosts the uh, the like Christian young life at his house, and it's just like, aren't you guys excited to be here? We're gonna have a fucking, oh, no, fuck. we're gonna have a blast. We got s'mores in the back. We got ping pong up top. Have fun. Look at that. It's kind of creepy. I don't think so. I, I think he's like. I don't think he welcomes people into his home. And Kodafone's okay. 3530 yeah. electronic bulletin. I can see that as well, but with the, the reactions are just insane. Phone with automatic dialing of up to 32 pre-programmed numbers furnished by Kodafone. You can pre, Kitchen you can put 32 numbers in there. refrigerator, freezer with Pretty crystal frost cantilever oh. shelves, ice and water through the door, furnished by KitchenAid. Retail value of this beautiful what was kitchen that package joke? is... That was the classic, oh, you caught me with my lingerie. Let me hide it in the fridge. What a classic. 
an all time. The newlywed game needs they they need I don't understand how they didn't change the third round. It clearly needs like uh, final a round. final round. Sonny D. You like Sonny D? I was into it as a you. I think I'm kind of out. Never got I feel it. like if I had a cup now, it'd be like tense. Think so? Like having a Capri Sun as an adult, and you're like, oh. Yeah, bro, like a step below that, because I feel like there's orange juice principles, but I feel like it's, they turn the knob up for kids. Eye drops. Huge. Huge. Soothe your eyes with 2020 eye drops. And oh, and Tom's! Tom to Tom. One of them a staples. So yeah. Tom Tom. That, uh, was a, that was a nice John Boy Tom 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 Use Yeah. I don't use eye drops, but I love Tom's. Batteries, huh? How about that? What is this? From True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. The following have paid and or furnished prizes for promoting their products. Cool. Hey, that's the newlywed game. I mean, the I don't. New newlywed game. The new newlywed game. Here's something. We've watched three newlywed games now, Jake. Every time the team that wins has never been the team I want to win. Maybe I always like. If you're like just fun and bubbly, I think you're you don't win this game. You gotta be. Yeah, a little, you get lost in it. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll be back. Comment below what you want. We got legends. We got supermark sweep. We got guts. We don't have a lot of newlyweds. We're going to do something different next week. Let us know. Thanks for watching. See ya.